Yo, what's good? It's your boy KG, the one that loves God, fears God, and I love the game of basketball. Let's get right into it, man. There was a couple of things that I did not agree with as far as our exit interviews and me being a critic, me looking at everybody's body language, reading between the lines. I did not like what Nerdist Noel said in his exit interview. To me, that man is not coming back. He's probably going to go to the Warriors like some KD type of crap. I don't know what's going to happen. But however, he was saying some good things about the organization and how, how much he appreciated playing with us and all that kind of stuff. But then he said that he's going to allow his agent to make the decisions for his future. So to me, that's like, I'm not coming back. That's what it sounds like to me. Let me know what y'all think. Markeith Morris, one of the Wonder Twins. Yeah, that played for us. He said a few good things. Yeah, man, I had, you know, I got a new appreciation for Russell Westbrook. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, yeah, man, I just, I don't know, though, about coming back. You know what I'm saying? If I had these same minutes, man, I ain't played that much minutes, so I don't know. I don't know. Now, I don't know about y'all, but to me, that's messing up the credibility of Oklahoma City Thunder's future. Let me know what y'all think about that. See, me, even though I'm being comical, I don't like the fact that people are saying some stuff about minutes this, minutes that, with Sam Presti coming out saying he expects Billy Donovan to come back next year. If Billy Donovan is still our coach next year, is it possible that other star players via trade or free agency will be scared to come play with us because they are worried about their future? Think with me. See, me, I got a weird feeling that this is really messing up the credibility of not only the Oklahoma City Thunder, but Russell Westbrook. This is the second year that we got a first round exit. Now, me being a diehard Oklahoma City Thunder fan and loving Russell Westbrook, I can side with the man all day long. But other people looking out, looking from the, you know, the outside in, they like, okay, what's going on? Why can't nobody play with this man? What's up? See, me being a fan, I can I can I can counter affect that bad boy and say, look, man, we don't even know if he was injured or not. We don't know that. He just got a surgery. Wink, wink. Ha. So you might have thought he was on a hundred, but he wasn't on a hundred. He was trying to be on a hundred, but he was still hurt. And what about Paul George? He just got surgery too. That's the that's the kind of argument I could come with. But like I said, other people are probably talking so much junk about our team. Not probably. They are. Because I'm always defending Oklahoma City. Everywhere I go. Church. <laughs> work. <laughs> on the block. <laughs> everywhere I go. Somebody got something negative to say about Russell and my team. And I keep telling them, like, we are coming, baby. Now, I said what I said about Nernest Noel and Markeith. There's another thing that I have to bring up. And that is Deontay Burton. I'm afraid that the fact that he didn't really show himself like he wanted to and like how Thunder fans wanted him to, could it be possible that Sam Presti might kick him to the curb? I hope he does not because to me, Deontay, Deontay Burton did not get a fair shot at showing what he can do. He did not get a fair shot. Two minutes, three minutes a game just ain't going to do it. It ain't going to do it. And if I'm saying Presti, I'm analyzing everything. Everything. I expect big changes to come next year. I expect the Thunder to look a little different. I expect our core players to remain in spot, but I expect him to really do some crazy trades. I don't want to say who because I don't want to jinx it or nothing like that. But I expect something big to happen on this season coming up. I expect it. I expect it. I really do. And I really hope and pray that Russell Westbrook and Paul George come out of this, this surgery thing very successful and it doesn't show if they're hurting a little bit. I want to see these dudes play at 100 all season long. And I hope when Andre Roberson comes back that he not only shows us good D, but he shows us some O too. I want to see some offense, baby. 
<laughs> I don't care what nobody said. Andre Robinson is good now. He can he can he can guard you. He can guard you up. <laughs> but I want to see some free throws being dropped, and I want to see some points get put up. We need that. And I really feel like as an Oklahoma City Thunder fan and really being a critic of my squad, good and bad critic, I got to say that we need a third scoring option that's very reliable and consistent. One that's going to have Paul George's back. One that's going to have Russell Westbrook's back. If y'all don't score, I got it. That's what we need. I really feel like once we get that, we're going to be good. All season long, we fell short because... Paul George went into a funk. Russell Westbrook, you know, shot us out of the game a couple times. But I still love him, man. Shout out. <laughs> but if we had that third dude that was trusted and that got shared the ball, if they shared him the ball, we'll make some noise. We'll make some noise. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Is Nerlens Noel coming back? Is Markeith Morris coming back? Is Billy Donovan going to finally be the coach that everybody wants him to be? Because that man might be coming back, according to Sam Presti. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and always remember, keep God first, and everything else going to fall into place. Love you on the Lord. Peace!